Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. Today we're going to do a video for all zodiac signs. This is what Spirit has to say to you for the month of September 2021. Any messages for you that Spirit wants to tell you for this month. There's a lot going on, on in our country with the floods and, you know, the sicknesses and other things are that are going to come into effect. We are going to have the Mercury retrograde on the 27th, so a lot of energies are changing. So we'll see what Spirit has to say for you and about you. Um, don't forget, this video is not made for kids. If you're under the age of 18, please click off now. This channel is my brand. You do not have permission to copy or use it for any reason. Also, if you want a personal reading, contact me with the email down below. Remember, I work a 12-hour shift, so it takes me a minute to answer you and get back to you. Um, when you're paying for your reading, there is a $1 processing fee. Okay, so it's $30 for three questions plus a processing fee and so on and so forth. All the prices are down below, okay? Because some people forget to do that processing fee. Well, if you forget, I'm not going to do the reading, okay? Um, and I do use the three cash apps that are down there. So just use one of those, all right? <clears throat> so for the first one, we're going to go by the elements. We're going to do water signs, which is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. We're going to see what spirit has to say. I am protected by the love and light of God. The blood of Jesus covers me. I do not accept any demonic spirits here in my body, mind, soul, or speech. I do not accept any demonic spirits here in my body, mind, soul, or speech. Be gone. You are not allowed to enter here. All right. So, water signs. Pisces, Kansas, Scorpio. What does spirit have to say? What messages does spirit have for water signs? For September 2021, give me the first card. I feel like this one is trying to come out. Okay. I'm going to do one more. These are short, y'all. Remember, I'm doing just short ones. There's one. <clears throat> get another card. There's one that wants to flip. Okay. So, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The first one that came out was the Knight of Swords, but it's in the reverse. And the upright, that means an important message coming in. You see how the horse is flying through the air. Very urgent, urgent message. So, I do see that you're waiting to hear about something. And um, see, there's birds on top here. Those bring in messages. And you're waiting to hear about something very important. But it's delayed because it's in the reverse. So whatever it is that you're waiting for, it's delayed. It could be that you're waiting to hear from a higher up. Because here we have the emperor right next to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this represents someone that's higher up that you're dealing with. This person has a lot of power. Okay. And you see how he's holding his wand up here, which represents power and strength and then he's holding the ball here which represents he has control of the world so it could be some higher up or maybe something important that you're waiting to hear but there's a delay due to the knight of swords being in the reverse you can flip this card back up because it's a court card and they always the energies always flip back and forth a lot of people say well you said this then that, that but then it happened this way that because these are court cards now if you get a major arcana which is one of these, these are set in stone. You can't flip them either way. But a court card, will, the energy flips back and forth. That's why it's good to listen to tarot. Because if you know ahead of time what's going to happen, you can actually flip that energy and make it go the other way. Okay? So there is a delay in some kind of news. I'm a cancer. I'm waiting to hear about a bonus, which we haven't heard yet. So I kind of feel like that pertains to me as well. And then we have the Two of Cups. I am seeing a... A uh, relationship that is going to be a breakup for you, Cancer, in the towards the end of the month due to Mercury retrograde. That Mercury retrograde brings in breakups or something like that, or an ex. Um, a lot of you are going to be having ex re exes returning during this phase, so be careful with that. This is the the Two of Cups when someone offers you something great. You see how he's leaning towards her, offering this cup of love. Okay, but it's in the reverse, so that means that there's a relationship. It's going wrong, it's sour, or something happened. Could be getting a divorce, a breakup, someone could be moving out. 
Um, this also could represent uh, with friends, two friends or relatives. There's a some kind of imbalance in the relationship, loss of respect for each other. Also, um, uh, I'm seeing uh, the one person don't want to communicate when the other one does, things like that. And I'm also seeing jealousy, jealousy and possessiveness. So I do see that coming in more towards the end of the month. But like I said, this is another court card and you can flip these back around if you you know communicate with that person okay be careful with excess because they are returning in this mercury retrograde all right so the next one is fire signs aries leo and sagittarius what do you see for september what messages spirit do you have for aries leo and sagittarius there's the first one give me another card for aries leo sagittarius for this month september 2021 for aries leo and sagittarius you are a fire sign if you don't know if you're a fire sign you're an aries leo and sagittarius give me another card spirit what do you have to say we have several that flipped out here oh my goodness okay so here we are with the five of cups i'm seeing some of you are crying over something that was lost you see how the cups flipped over they spilled what was in them so i'm seeing a lot of emotional loss these cups are spilled over this person's hanging their head sad but over here we have two cups still standing representing you all is not lost you still have something to live for so some of you might have lost a pisces cancer scorpio that ran away left or died or something like that um yeah i am seeing that this person could have offered you many things or this could mean two things here this person over here could have offered you many things and they left or i do see opportunities coming in from the universe you see how they're coming on the clouds so this is opportunities coming in uh from the universe but you have to be careful because you see if you notice there's a dragon here and a snake up here and then there's one that's covered you don't even know what that is and you're like hmm what's underneath that cup okay so you are going to have opportunities coming in be careful with internet scams i'm seeing that uh, you, a lot of people are getting text messages saying oh if you go to this website you get this that and that uh your stimulus check or your insurance has a bonus coming in. i get a lot of those those are all scams don't fall for any of that so just be careful with whatever opportunity comes in check it out fully before you make a decision um Aries, Leon, Sagittarius, I am seeing that you're waiting on news to come in. This news is going to come by fax, phone, uh, message, uh, old-fashioned conversation or a letter or something like that. And it's going to be good news, okay? Because here we have the page of uh, wands. And when he's standing looking at his wand, he's examining the news. And this page always brings in good news, okay? It could be three weeks, three days, three months, something like that. I am seeing a short trip also taken as well, and you will be protected during this short trip because here we have, he's wearing the salamanders on his gown here, so salamanders always represent protection. Back in the day when the riders, the knights used to get on their horses, they, they had a shield and that shield had a salamander on it, or that capes had salamander because that, prote that represent, re represented protection back then. Okay, so now we have the sneaky card. This is the seven of swords. There is someone in your life that is sneaky. This person I'm seeing is a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They are telling you this, that, or the other, but they're lying to you. Okay, this could be also someone that's a was a friend or is a friend or a relative that's stealing from you. This is someone that's sneaky. They're tiptoeing. You see how they're tiptoeing, looking back to see if anyone saw them steal these swords. Okay, they're stealing your energy, they're lying to you. If, if this is a romantic interest, they're talking to a whole lot of people when they're telling you they're just talking to you, but they're stealing energy. Someone stole something off your desk. I'm seeing someone took something off your desk and don't know what happened to it. Well, it's this person here. There, these tents in the background represent sexual activity. It could be prostitution online, someone's talking to too many people online, 1-800 uh, numbers, things like that. And this person promised you a brand new day. You see how the whole picture is yellow. Yellow represents brand new. But they're a liar. They're not telling the truth. But all will be exposed because why? There's two swords here that he left behind, meaning evidence. You're going to find evidence through a te text message, email, or something to that sort where you're going to so sort where you're going to find the truth out about this person. This person is a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So be careful with that. All right. So this was a message from Spirit for Aries Lunar Sagittarius, September 2021. 
Now we're going to move on to Earth Signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does Spirit have to say for you for September 2021? Give me the first card. There's two that fell out. Give me another card, Spirit, for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right. So for the first one, we have the Page of Pentacles. I am seeing that some of you are still waiting on money to come in. The, when the Page of Pentacles is in the upright, this is the hope. The hope. See, the, day is, the card is yellow, so there's a hope of money. He's holding the coin. Very passionate about, you know, getting this money coming in, but it's in the reverse. So the money is on hold. The money's on hold. There's a delay due to some kind of rule or court ruling, or maybe it's your job. You know, they're holding your funds. Uh, maybe you haven't got your stimulus or uh, anything to that nature. It's on hold, okay? So you're going to have to do some more calling and digging into it. You're going to have to write letters, emails, and stuff like that because you want to flip this card around. This card is easily can flip back around because it's a court card. So you want to get to that position. All right, so I am seeing the Ace of Victory. So it does look like by the end of the month, you're going to have victory. But be careful because this is a double-edged double sword. So this one can easily flip this way. And then it wouldn't be any good. But it is in the upright. So you're going to have victory probably in this situation here. Or whatever it is that you're doing. You might be involved with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And you're going to have victory. Or one is coming in to help you with whatever it is that you're doing. This is what Spirit is saying. This is victory. You see how the... A hand is coming out from the clouds so the universe is offering you some type of victory i am seeing some of you that are in your mind i feel like you're gonna go off somewhere by yourself and think about stuff this is the hermit that does that he climbs to this hill and you see how he's tilting his head holding the lantern he's thinking so and, and taking some time out so i am seeing a lot of you earth signs towards river capricorn you're going to be taking time out in september maybe a short vacation a few days off or something like that because you need to do some thinking about your life where which step you're going to take next except especially after all this stuff that's been happening to us here lately and you're going to take time out to think about a new direction i'm seeing a new direction coming in for you so so the the market retrograde is bringing in this energy where a lot of you are going to be taking time out to think about the direction you want to go in your life all right choose wisely choose wisely is what spirit is saying choose wisely all right so the next one is air signs which is gemini libra and aquarius for september 21 what does spirit have to say to you or for you for air signs give me one card what do you see for air signs gemini libra and aquarius for september 2021 what does spirit have to say so y'all sometimes i shuffle on camera sometimes i don't i know some people say stuff like why why do i do it that way it's just the way i feel Sometimes I feel like doing it on camera. Sometimes I don't. It depends on how much I have to shuffle. All right. Or the way spirit moves me. There's one right there. Oh, that's interesting. That's so interesting. Look at that. Two coins. All right. One more card for air signs. Gemini, even Aquarius. What do you see? Give me one more card. What does spirit have to say for air signs? Gemini, even Aquarius. Ah. Ah. Perfect. Perfect. Those go hand in hand. Okay, so for the first one that fell out was the Ace of Pentacles. So I am seeing, again, money matters. There's a lot of money matters in September. Sorry, my camera's moving around. I am seeing some of you having problems with money matters. Here is, the again, the hand of the universe coming in, offering you a big giant coin. And you're living inside the Garden of Eden. You see how you're on the inside of it. But something went wrong um, because this card is flipped in the reverse. Okay, this also means a baby coming in, and I am seeing somebody losing a baby. Sorry to give you that news, but when it's in the reverse, that's what it means. Now, here's the twist. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This is the card of inheritance, okay? So money is coming in. There's, see the card? It's got coins floating all over the place. And then there's an old man here. Uh, there's young people here, and then a younger person down here. So these cards, these coins are floating around. So this is money passed down from generation to generation. Could be an inheritance. Could be uh, some of the money that's owed due to you for some reason. 
but you're waiting on it. You're waiting on it. And I do see it coming in, but be careful because there's a watchtower back here and there's another person after this money. Okay, someone wants to take this money away from you or they feel like it belongs to them. So be careful with that. I see this person that's hiding in this uh, watchtower. They are a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So be careful with them. Okay, but here's the Hierophant and he's saying, he's confirming that this money belongs to you. This is like the great judge. Okay, and he's holding both hands up, showing his power. And there's the people down here waiting for his decision. So that's what you're waiting on. It could be a lawyer that you're waiting on to say, hey, this money belongs to you. Or your boss saying, hey, I'm, uh, the bonus have been approved. It's coming. Are you going to get this, that? Whatever decision you're waiting on, that's what it is. And then you're going to get it in confirmation. It's going to come by an email, your work email, tax uh text message or phone call or a letter or something like that so all this is really really good for gemini living across you're going to get that confirmation you want not only from the higher up here but in a form of a email or text message or phone call something like that but that money is coming and eventually by the end of the month you'll flip this card back up all right, I'm seeing good things coming to you all the way to December, especially during Christmas time. With money, when money is concerned, uh, Gemini and Aquarius, you're going to have the funds that you're going to need for Christmas. All right, y'all, this is it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all, watch those short videos. I'm fixing to post another one here in a little bit. And tell me what you think and what you want to hear next. I'll be doing it live here pretty soon as soon as I talk to Xavier. She had had some stresses here lately, and I just don't want to bother her. But I do need a moderator, and she is my moderator. So as soon as she's okay, you know, with her problems, then she can help me do another live. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all, and I'll see you next time. Thumbs up, please.